Okay, hi everyone. Um, so this is my fifth video now, um, and it's around uh, tailplane design. Um, a lot of the, the 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 techniques and things that I used during this um, will filter through into the wing. Uh, the wing is actually relatively easy in comparison to the the tailplane because there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more surfaces. Um, so before I started the tailplane, I I kind of knew I needed to decide on an airfoil, or you know, and I, and I had literally no idea. Um, I know that airfoils don't translate well from full size to, to RC, so I've done a lot of research, I read through forms and I looked at a lot of images, I just looked at the wings and I looked at their the root profile, <clears throat> and that's kind of like, that's a, it's, you know, mark one eyeball I used to decide which one I wanted to pick. So, um, but we obviously need to then get that profile into uh, Fusion. Now, I did look at, there was model files I found in GrabCAD. There was other images and stuff, but actually, in the end, I just decided to, you know, I'll just kind of do it sort of fairly rough and ready. Um, so if we, you know, so I went to this site, Airfoil Tools. It's got all the airfoils you can, I think you can ever want. So you can have a good rummage through here. When you click on one, it also tells you where similar ones are. So if there's one that kind of is what you want, you can then look at the similar ones. And then from that, all I done was was do a print screen. Um, I brought it into paint. I then selected the shape, the you know the actual airfoil. That's, that's all you really need. Uh, cut that. Create a new. Okay, and then just minimize this window to where we need. It's about there. I'm just gonna save that. Uh, save it. And we'll just call it A12 as a 12% airfoil. So we'll just save it into there, close that, close that now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Infusion. We've opened up, this was the, the fuselage, beautiful fuselage we designed last time. So I'm going to um, go to Insert. I'm going to go to Insert Canvas. I'm going to insert from my computer. I'm going to look for... Uh, Downloads. And I'm going to pick the face there. Okay. So I'm going to have to scale it now. Um, so I'm going to turn off this body. I don't know how small it is at the moment. Uh, that's pretty small. So now we're going to do the same as we've done on the previous one. We're going to calibrate. Okay, uh, I have no idea how big that my tailplane should be. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's say uh, 250 for the time being. If I just turn on the fuselage now, it's the body. Yeah, that looks not too bad. As I said, I'm not worried too much. I'm not worried about it being perfect because it's, it's more about the demonstration of it. You can spend time getting it right. Um. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to sketch on this. Okay. Um, on this surface. Same as we've done before, we're going to use the fit point spline. We're going to... And again, you know, it's like, it's actually not that difficult to do and make it, you know, to get a decent, um, a decent shape. Now you can just, you know, mirror this, which is probably what I'm going to do. Okay, rather than try and uh, do, do sort of do the whole profile, I just mirror it. So in, then we're going to just adjust as we've done before. You know, you can, it's almost where it should be as it is. You know, uh, you know. Uh, it, 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 I know these are very precise in real life, but for our purposes, I don't think we have to worry as much. And you know, for me, that's just good enough. How long did that take? 10 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that uh, profile. I'm not gonna have the origin on. I'm gonna then um, go down to mirror. Um, uh, 
Oh no, sorry, I need to mirror it when I'm in the sketch. So I'm going to go down edit sketch. This one. Click a mirror up here. Click a mirror line. The mirror's going to be there. Finish sketch. And what's a good uh, indication now is how well it fits with the one below it, which is not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So I'm going to turn off the canvas now, and there we go. That's the first part done. We've now got a, um, a profile. Now we can scale this profile as well. So if I just click on the profile, and then if you go to um, modify, scale, click on the profile and say we do it, we want it twice as big. Oh no, sorry, two, not 200. <laughs> so there you go. Now you've got a double one that's double size. That's probably roughly what the wing would be. So if I just go into turn there on, hey, there you go. That looks pretty good already. <clears throat> so what I'm going to just gonna cancel that right now. I'm going to leave this one here, but I'm going to copy this sketch, turn off the origin. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'm going to st I'll start another video before we do the next part, which is moving these uh, profiles down to the tail.